What up, it's your boy, the Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I'm going to try to knock out at least a couple videos today, tomorrow, and so forth. Because I need to finish, man. Because, like, it's I just realized that it's fall. And a lot of the fall series are starting to drop. And there's a couple that I really, really want to check out, man. So, I got to hurry up and catch up. Um, This is Welcome to Demon School, Emma Kuhn, Season 2, Episode 19. And I'll probably do 20 and 21 today as well. So, let's dive into it and see what's popping off, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it, so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes Oh yeah, they all decided to go to Clara's place After dealing with the fallout of everything else Oh, you know what? Like, we went with, um... Ba not Balam Sensei, uh, Calego Sensei. So we, like, we never saw the actual class go there. We just saw her family because of Calego Sensei. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I'm excited, man. And I know Irma's going to have a fun time. And, you know, like, he's never been invited to a friend's house. He's never had friends. So all of this is new experiences for him. So we'll get to enjoy that treat with him. I'm a little excited. Let's get it, man. Clarida's house. Let's go, man. What is this? What the what? It's so buff and then like has like the makeup on his face and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Wait, so it was only... I thought the whole class was going to come. Oh, my gosh. This forest is weird. <laughs> wow. Oh, they got a picture of the other brother because he's not there, right? <laughs> I'm at school, so <laughs> I knew it was gonna be awesome. I knew it. I knew it. I knew we were gonna have a blast, man. Oh, she just <laughs> Well, she's just like her daughter, so, you know, there's, well, her daughter's just like her, so. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm going to be 100%. Now, I'm kind of intrigued in Clarita's father. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told I knew it was gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was nice. Oh, they're trying to eat the whole casing. <laughs> yes, I'm <mama. laughs> I'm having way too much fun with the whole Valak family. That seems a little extra. Uh-oh. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh-oh. Oh, 
she cut them short fast when it came to arrow. <laughs> You know what, man? This I, I needed this episode. I didn't know I needed this episode, but I'm so glad I got it. Well, I mean, they are a little extra, but... Oh, her dad's an adventurer. See, I was, I was wondering about him. So that's the thing that was flying around outside, right? This is nice. I'm I'm enjoying this. Well, I mean, they're in this weird forest, so <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> it must be her as a baby, right? Well, we knew she was going to feel some type of way. That's nice. See, like, this This is nice. Oh. <laughs> Wait, well, he's going to check out part two. <laughs> It's nice to see her, like, because normally she's the one, you know, flustering everybody else. What are they doing? The forest. It's, it's the forest, right? There can't be a supermarket out here. <laughs> it's it's a nice break from everything, you know, being a little convoluted with all the stuff that happened at Walter Park. I told you, I, I knew that. <laughs> you call it me? <laughs> you know, I love the Valix. You know, I'm I'm just in love with the Valix. Oh, so we're not gonna see it, right? We're just gonna see a song of them. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the song. Ain't no way me is just falling from a tree. But I, no wonder they call it a supermarket. Though. I get the gist of it now. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's fun. It's, it's it's loving, and we get to see the Valix. But 
Munchy, 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 munchy. N now they flying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that was nice. So they look like high class stuff too. What's the, what is? Yeah, Asmodia stuff look way better. Wait, so they don't, so like, Good quality stuff. Wait, so good quality stuff when it looks good is bad and the bad stuff is good? Uh oh. Round two. So what's so what's going on? What's this ultimate ingredient? I, I imagine you put it in whatever you're cooking. It it tastes wonderful or whatever. Because she's hyping it up like it's the best thing since sliced bread. Shabba shabba. Oh, well, you can't beat that, then, I mean. Oh, this man's stomach is growling. Oh, so it's going to be. <laughs> right, right. You don't know who he is. <laughs> oh, the, the little ones that fell asleep. Oh, well, they are on the way. So we got like a little adventure where they're searching for this ultimate ingredient. <laughs> it's nice to see them interact with each other. This is nice. Okay, so they're a little scared. Well, he really did step up. Oh, well, he, now he feels a little defeated because he really didn't defeat the dragon monster. Uh-oh. It's going to be a joke, right? Oh, my bad. Oh, that thing for real. And it's made out of food. Shark plus pig. It's got like onions. Apples. Carrots. Oh, it's a tomato. Oh my gosh. They, they need to quit. So the whole the whole thing is just a bunch of ingredients for a hot pot and they're just going to end up killing the whole thing, right? It's super healthy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we knew they weren't going to be the ones to defeat it. <laughs> right. 
Buffalo's not going to do anything. Oh, <laughs> he hit him with a pick. <laughs> Home run. What is Clatter going to do? Now, where did the sword come from? Uh. <laughs> oh, so Asmodeus is a little wrapped up in, within himself because he wants to be Irma's first sword or whatever, and he's... Quit thinking so much, man. Just do what you want to do. That's all you got to do. Wow. Wow. Clara's mothers must be super strong. Oh, heck, you gotta be kidding me. She hit it with one hit. But you know what? That's huge for Asmodeus, man, for him to take the initiative to realize that Irma's tired and with Clara there, she's not really a fighter and having to worry about her brothers. For him to take that initiative to to leave instead of actually trying to take down this monster and fight it, that's huge for Asmodeus. <laughs> we won't peek, I promise. That's huge for Asmodeus, man. I knew it was going to be a great episode, man. <laughs> they got the shark bones just laying out there in the yard. <laughs> We're matching. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did it really work? <laughs> well, look at that. Clarita has her specialties. Now, we knew she, she had certain things she could do, but she has other specialties as well. Huge shout out to Clarita this episode too, man. This was nice. This episode was way nicer than I expected it to be. This was a nice episode, man. Oh, that was nice. It was a nice episode, man. I feel good and all happy and excited at the same time. Oh. 
Oh, dude, I thought that was the end. We get we get a little bit more. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Because she never really truly had friends. Okay, now why is her dad coming to see Irma? Because no, we know that's who he's coming to see. Okay, man. That was Welcome to Demon School, Irma Kuhn, Season 2, Episode 19. Now, overall, it was a relaxation episode, or break episode, if you will, because we get to see that Asmodeus, Irma, and Clarida went to Clara, Cl Clara, Clarida, however you want to say it, house, and they had like a nice relaxation time with her family. They got introduced because Clarida's never really brought home any friends, and we know that this is a huge step for her, but it was also a huge step for Asmodeus and uh, I guess you could say the thought process of behind what he wants, what's his ambition and what he wants to do, you know, being there for Irma. And we see that in this episode when he when they go up against the fight, the big old shark pig monster, and he decides to leave instead of actually trying to fight it, knowing that he couldn't defeat it and put Irma and Clarida and her brothers in harm's way. He decided to leave. That's a huge step for Asmodeus, man. It, it, granted, you know, it just well, it just recently happened with him fighting the dragon and not being able to defeat it. But that's a huge step in the right direction for him to become such a even greater character, if you will. Um, the comedy, the jokes, it always slaps. It was funny. Um, but we get to see Clarida in a different light as well, too. We, we knew how she kind of felt about Irma a little bit. But we get to see her in a light as to... We know that she has her special traits, but, you know, when she's around her family, she opens up a little bit more because, you know, she doesn't have to hide who she is. And we know that she she done that at school. But ever since meeting Irma and Asmodeus and all the other misfits, she's opened up a lot more. But we get to see a different side of her when she's at home with her siblings and her mother. And we learned a little bit about her father, that he's an adventurer and he's always sending them stuff. So it was a nice, fun episode, a little informative, but it was great character development for Asmodeus, and we got to see a little insight to Clarida as well. Overall, it was a nice episode, man. Let's go check out episode 2021. It's probably something to do with a, a Mary, like uh, taking her on a date or something, or hit him and a Mary's relationship. I mean, you clearly see him. I mean, he's standing like right in front of you. Or maybe talk about the incident at Walter Park. <laughs> well, so he done that to help Irma, but he wants something in return for sure. Oh. <laughs> she's studying. <laughs> that's, that's what she's doing, all right? <laughs> she's converting the manga to... to... Oh, no. She's trying to go on a date with Irma. Like she's she's planned it all out perfectly and everything. She's following the the manga. Uh, okay, so, but but you can't you know you can't really perfect the date. I mean, you kind of just gotta let things happen naturally. I mean, sure, you can construct it a little bit, but other than that, it kind of just happened to has to flow naturally, man. So I'm assuming some, some, something's gonna happen on this date for sure. Let's get it, man. Episode 20, Dream Date. I think we all kind of been waiting for this too, though, to be fair. Like, we've all been waiting for their date to actually happen. Well, I feel like something's going to happen on the date, whether it's from someone else or something with them in general. Oh, 
Yo, because you know it's a date. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, she is freaking out. Ooh. Ah. Uh oh. Uh, just, just, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Let's go, man. I'm ready for this date. Be honest with you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Since she's so giddy. Uh oh. Debbie. It's nice, man. It's to because we've all been waiting for it to be fair. Why? Oh, her father? Oh, she, oh, she's, oh, she's tripping on trying to figure out something to wear. Uh oh, like, how did he know that? Uh oh. Oh, he still see her as this little as this little baby. No, and look at little baby. And me. Oh, I'm very sad. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, oh, what that that just melts your little heart, don't it? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm excited for this date now, man. I know I've been saying I, the word excited just a lot lately, but I am all kinds of excited. It's a beach episode. Like we get an official like pool beach spa episode. Well, all eyes on her. Oh. And rightfully so. Okay, let's be, to be fair, a Mary out here putting all the other demons to shame. Yeah, that does seem fun. So... You know, it's actually working. My bad. I'm sorry, Amiri. I didn't think it would work. Yeah, she she do look lovely, don't she? She she look real lovely, don't she? Oh, she's oh she. <laughs> so since she played it down to like the fine details too, man. Oh. 
So he's going to pick her up. Dookie, dookie. Dookie, dookie. Dookie, dookie. Dookie, dookie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, so somewhere along in this episode, he's going to actually pick her up. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, Ibra's still growing, so give him time. Well, I mean, I told you, man, all plans don't go, especially when you try to set up a, stuff for a date. Anyway. She's going to be in the back. Because she's a, she's bigger than he is. <laughs> I told you. I knew, I knew. <laughs> oh dang! I'm gonna be 100. percent The way that they animated the water uh, shooting down the slot looks fantastic. By the way. It went it went slow. It was super fast, wasn't it? <laughs> well, of course they want to slow it down in the manga. It's always slower in the manga. I'm loving this episode too, man. These last couple episodes so far have been fantastic. I guess it kind of just gives you that relaxation after all of the tension that we dealt with in episode uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, okay, now, Irma, you can't be running around shouting out stuff that, you know, like you met in the human world. Like, like the real ocean? Don't be saying all that, man. It's a ton of water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is fun. I'm loving this so much, man. Don't hit it too hard, Amiri. Please don't hit it too hard. It's going to ruin your plan. Oh, <laughs> I told you that they hit it too hard. Well, yeah, because you're always dealing with other stuff. Yeah, but he, your boy's on trade, man. He's so ready. Okay, well, it may work, but everything else has failed except for the very first plan to get him there and surprise him. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I... It, I don't. I wouldn't ate it. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. It didn't look appealing. 
but now she's a little heartbroken and a little devastated because the date hadn't went the way that she had expected it to. I knew this, man. Things never really go according to plan a lot of times in real life anyway. Well, animated life for them. <laughs> yeah but like don't overthink it you're overthinking it and, and that's what's ruining everything oh so now she's a little jealous <laughs> yeah and she 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 has to relax and it's because she made up this elaborate plan she can't relax because things isn't going the way that she thought they were so now she's tensed up and stressed out Doki Doki. Doki Doki. <laughs> Romantic partner. <laughs> you you're thinking too much. You just gotta relax and just let it flow naturally, Amiri. You're overthinking it, and that's what's ruining everything. Fortune telling show. Well, I mean, we, you could definitely tell that they both have feelings for each other because the way that she looks at him and the way he looked at her when she smiled and agreed with him about having fun, you know, because Irma, he looked at her a little different too. Is something going to happen with the, this huge alligator? Crocodile? Alligator? Alligator, Ray. I did. I called it. I called it. Didn't I call it? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, you done, you done made her, man. You done, you done fist her off. Look at your girl. Look at your girl. A one hit a quitter. But she's the one that ended up catching him. This time. so it, it reversed the road. It's it's still nice, but it's so good. Woo, woo yeah, woo, woo. I don't know. I, I really liked it. I 
I knew something was gonna happen. The, the, the whole episode led up to something happening. Now he doesn't look at you like that. And I feel like the only reason the stuff went the way that it did because you tried to plan it. You should have just enjoyed the date. You didn't get a chance to enjoy it because you spent all your time trying to plan it. He's going to pick her up. And that was smooth. That was smooth. If if I say I can't, will you will you carry carry me? Look at your boy, man. Your boy's bossing it up, man. Because you know he couldn't physically carry her, but your boy out here, he made her weightless, picking her up, being a boss, man. That's what I'm talking about. Look at it. Well, I had a lot of fun. Of course, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Did they have to look at? Come on, man. <laughs> that was nice, man. Okay. That was uh, Welcome to Demon School, Emma Coon, Season 2, Episode 20, and it was fantastic. It was a fantastic finish, and I really enjoyed it. I really, really did because we see that Amir is trying to plan this perfect date for her and Irma and trying to get like all of the things to line up perfectly, trying to get them to follow a specific path and plan according to the manga, and with well, the manga that she was reading anyway, and... Things just didn't go her way. Now, she said she couldn't hold back her strength and stuff because she never really had to. And that's very valid. But I feel like things could have went maybe just a tad little bit better had she done, like I said, from the very beginning and just let the date flow naturally. She tried to create all these uh, different circumstances. And when you try to do stuff like that, it always ends up failing. You know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times you may think it's a bad date, but some the person that you're dating or went on that particular date with could have could have had a wonderful experience unless it was just an horrible date and you made them pay and you know your car broke down and you forgot your money or you intentionally forgot your money the food was bad it's just it was overall bad date things like that happen as well too because you know there's some people out there but if you have a legitimate date and you you guys end up just having such a great time sometimes everything that you plan could fall on its face but if, if, if you guys have good chemistry and you, and you enjoy each other's company, you could just spend a day walking around town and that could be the perfect date. Plans don't always go according to plan, if you will. And Mary had to realize that the hard way in this episode with her date with Irma because everything she tried to put together didn't work. But at the end, 
you know, with uh, the Como Ichan or whatever, whatever the little al- the alligator thing or whatever it was called, when it attacked Irma and she saved him, she got hurt in the process. She didn't realize it. Irma realized it, but that allowed him to carry her in the end, which is something that she wanted the entire time. So you see how like how things kind of kind of got flipped a little bit, but in the end, it ended up being wonderful, and both of them ended up enjoying themselves in the company that they had on this particular date. Fantastic. Fantastic. There was a little comedy in there in, in each situation in each moment, but I just enjoyed the overall episode as a whole because we get to see Amiri in a different light yet again, but we get to see her and Irma have that connection that we've all been wanting and hoping for. This is what's incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out. Hey, yeah. I cannot complain because today yeah, I'm doing my thing.